Okay, so we're here with uh, Sky Sports Adam Smith. We've just had the weigh-in for uh, Return of the Saint George Rose. I see Christopher Abassa. What did you make of the two and the way they look going into this fight? Both they're great they're, shape. Yeah, they look terrific, don't they? I'm very impressed with uh, Abassa. I mean, he's the European champion, don't forget. You know, he's not coming over to give up the title. I mean, they're very confident in the French team. They just think they're better than George Rose. I, I mean, uh, I think many people would disagree with that. I think that this is a, a sensible fight for George uh, on the back of obviously what was two knockout defeats, he needs to win. Um, I think that you know, he should be a bit too classy for, for Rebrasse, but um, you don't know until he gets in there. You know, he's, he's the sort of guy that he's bounced back from, from defeats in the amateurs, and, and I, I fully expect him to bounce back from what, what happened with Carl Fox, because he was in the gym on you know, the week after, and uh, he's that sort of tough character, isn't he, that I think that he'll just get, get back down to business. But, um, but Groves needs to win tomorrow night. Yes, of course, we're at Wembley Stadium. This is where uh, the yeah. Carl Fox, George Groves fight happens. Do you think this is the perfect time for George to exercise some of those demons then, uh, just across the road at Wembley Arena? Absolutely, and coming back in here, you know, this is where the final press conference was, and sort of looking out to, to where it all happened. And George, you know, he, he's, he's, he's made a pretty tough stuff, and I think that... Uh, that he's, he's making a point here, coming back to, to Wembley. Of course, it's not the grand stage of the stadium. I mean, what a night that was. I mean, it just it brings it all back, you know, seeing the, the, the people that helped make it possible at Wembley and, and, and sort of going to have a look at the pitch and remembering the sort of overnight and, and what happened in the 20-odd the hours we had to, to change it into a, a boxing arena. It was quite incredible. I don't think that will be surpassed for, for some time. But, you know, George has got to crack on with his career. You know, I think over at the arena is... Uh, it's going to be a, a fantastic night tomorrow night and uh, he's got a good fight and he's got a good challenge in front of him in this European champion so uh, let's hope, hope it will be uh, good to remember as well. So uh, this of course is a Sourland promotion uh, on Sky Sports, um, could we see more um, Sourland promotions on Sky Sports in the future as well as Matchroom shows now? Well possibly but our deal is, is with Matchroom mm. so it was Eddie Hearn that worked out this with, with Cali Sourland and you know, has allowed us to uh, to have the show. It's the, the contract that we have is obviously with Matchroom. But yeah, I mean, I always like coming to Sauron shows. I like Calais and Nice very much. You know, we're over in Germany next week. Uh, we're covering their show there. So, um, so absolutely. Definitely. And uh, you mentioned the show next week, of course, uh, Paul Smith uh, heading over to Germany to play Arthur Abraham. How do you see that one going? I think it's going to be tough for Paul, uh, obviously. Um, Arthur Abraham is a very, very solid champion. I think he was a better middleweight than he is a super middleweight. And, you know, you never know which Arthur Abraham turns up. Sometimes he's explosive and very good. Sometimes he's lazy and, and, and uh, lethargic. Uh, obviously, Carl Froch had uh, a great night against him. Um, but, you know, Paul Smith uh, is a very good fighter, but he has lost to DeGale. He has lost to George Groves. Um, you know, I think with Paul, and I know Paul really well, obviously he does a lot of work for us. Um, you know, he, he is, I think he'd be the first to admit that he's, he's always had the talent, but maybe he hasn't quite dedicated himself enough, certainly in the early part of his career. I think now he has with Joe Gallagher. I think he's trained really hard for this fight. I think he's got the buzz with the brothers and everything going so well. So I think he's got the best possible chance at this stage. But saying that, it's a tough ask, isn't it? Going over to Germany, into the lion's den, and in against a very, very solid and hard-punching champion. So um, I give Paul a, a chance, uh, but I think um, you know it really will be a, 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 an upset if he wins, and, and obviously a fantastic uh, boost again for British boxing after what Kel Brook did in America. But I think it's a, I think it's a, a tough ask. And uh, you mentioned uh, Paul obviously does work for Sky Sports. Someone else that does a lot of work for Sky Sports is uh, Johnny Nelson. And uh, lots of talk about Marco Huck uh, versus Johnny Nelson. Uh, well, what's the latest on that uh, from your point of view? Well, I mean, <laughs> let's, let's get a few facts out there first. I mean, Johnny hasn't fought for nine years. You know, he, he was a world cruiserweight champion, a uh, very successful one after a... Uh, a mixed career where he learned his trade going into into exile after a couple of failed world title opportunities um, and, and brilliantly came back and, and had an extremely successful career once he got back on British soil uh, in the sort of late 90s and, and the 2000s on. Um, but nine years is a long, long time. Um, he's 47 now, he'll be 48 uh, in January. So, um, you know, should he fight Marco? Well, I mean, it's up to Johnny if, if he wants a challenge and it's up to a lot of things I mean there'll be a lot of hurdles to get past I'm sure you know 
British board, WBA, all sorts of you know uh, logistics, uh, as well as you know whether he actually feels he can do it. Um, is he serious about it? I think he is. Uh, very interested in, in the challenge. I think yeah. because Marco Hooker's had 13 defences. Uh, Johnny had 13 defences. Um, so I think it sort of relit the fire. But let's not forget, you know, he's been a, a broadcaster for quite a long time now. He's got a, a we love him at Sky. He's uh, he's a really ambassador in, in the company now. He's a, he's a mentor to Jack Bateson and the Sky Scholars. He he did the riding with Team Sky on the, on the, on the, on the, on the cycling. Uh, so you know he's he really is enjoying life. Johnny he works very hard at his job, and uh, and um, you know it's a, it'll be a, a, a massive call if he decides to do it. But it's a big if at the moment. And someone you had on ringside uh, last night was Audley Harrison. Uh, he uh, looks like he wants to make a comeback as well. What well, do you think that's uh, likely, and who do you think we could see him in again? Yeah, I love I love Audley. You know, Audley uh, is, is, is is a great character. You know, he winning that gold in, in Sydney will he'll always have that. You know, I think he's the first to admit that the professional career has been um, well, full of ups and downs, and, and a lot of downs at the wrong time. You know, it was. It was a terrible performance against David Hay, and, and, and he's had other nights like that. He's had bad nights against Wilder and Price recently. He's had a couple of good prize fighter wins, you know. It, with Audley, he's people still will watch him, but he's, you know, he's in his um, his early 40s. I think he's had this newfound fame again from being in the Big Brother house, and I think he did really well there. And, and the real Audley came out. He's very mellow. He's a he's a lovely guy. Um, should he fight again? It's up to him. It's entirely up to him. Um, you know they, they'll have to look at a plan and, and, and how how he can get back into the mix because he's had some pretty bad setbacks in, in the ring uh, in the last three or four years. So um, I don't know, but you know nothing's impossible, is it? He's in great shape. Um, let's see what happens. Um, but you know I, I'm always fascinated with Audrey Harrison, whether he's in the ring or out the ring. I think he's a he's a, he's one of those characters who you know you just want to you just want to speak to and enjoy being around. Um, yeah. And uh, you mentioned uh, Wembley, uh, the George Rose Carl Fox fight again, and uh, you mentioned that's going to be hard to beat, but there's a fight that potentially could happen next year that could come here, Wembley Stadium, sell out, and that's uh, Kel Brook, who we wish a speedy recovery to, and Amir Khan. Do you think that's likely to happen next year at some point? We'd love Brook Khan, we'd love Khan Mayweather, we'd love all these sort of fights, wouldn't we? Um, I think what Frotch Groves uh, gave us uh, in May um, was that uh, the casual fans just need to be awakened from time to time with a big fight, with a 50-50 fight, um, where you don't know who's going to win, where you've got a couple of personalities, a couple of characters. And I think, you know, all the talk of, you know, should Frotch fight Chavez, should he fight Andre Ward in a rematch, or Golovkin. I mean, ultimately, I think that the British sport fans like a British rivalry, um, and I think they did with Ben Eubank, they have with Frotch Groves, you know, I, I'd like to see uh, a number of fights happen, I'd like to see Brooke Kahn, I, I think we're very close to having Ben Eubank cleverly uh, over the line, I think that um, Eddie will announce that pretty soon, and, and I think I'd like to see Quig Frampton, who wouldn't, you know, why don't we have Quig Frampton 1, Quig Frampton 2, Kel Brook, Amir Khan 1, Kel Brook, Amir Khan 2, you know, that can keep us all ticking over for the next two or three years, I mean, obviously these fights are tough to make. But I think Brook Khan is a big fight. Um, I think there is the needle, there are the personalities are there. And uh, I have um, no doubt that it could sell out a, a, you know, a big stadium, whether it's Wembley or up at Old Trafford or whatever, a fight like that. Um, you know, it, Wembley's 15 minutes from my house. It was absolutely brilliant coming up here um, in May. And, and I'd love it to be a, an annual event or something like that where we all come and have 60, 80,000 fans in a stadium watching a great fight. Who wouldn't as a, as a fight fan? It's, um, it, it's, it's great. I think that everybody that came here on May the 31st, wherever they were sitting, had a terrific time. And, you know, whether they liked boxing, loved it, or it was just their first first chance to sort of see it in, 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 in its, you know, in on stage like that. Let's, let's do it again. It would be brilliant, wouldn't it? Definitely. Oh, that's great. Thank you so much, Adam. No problem.